stress is great. I asked for a certain lifestyle through prayer. God put the pressure on me. I asked for a certain mindset. God put certain difficulties and tasks in front of me to handle. I asked for a certain body through prayer. God said, go to the gym every single day, seven days a week and never miss a workout. You have to sacrifice and you have to change your perspective. You have to know that what, whatever you go through or whatever pressure is put on you, it is to create the man that you have been praying to be or the woman that you have been praying to be. That feeling like you just have to fucking do it, like you just have to win, you have to be successful. When you're praying that, please know that life isn't going to get easier. Please understand that this isn't a, a path that you can just walk and wake up and show up and that's enough. You are going to get beat down, bro. Beat the fuck down. And what's so crazy is you see everyone that's living these stress-free life and, and they're living about being happy and, and, and they feel like oh, the only thing that they can accomplish in life is being full of joy. No. No, bro. And I'm here to change the fucking game with you people because your mindset cannot be, oh, I'm just going to live my life and try to be happy. Well, guess what? You ask for more. What does more require? It requires hard work. You're not going to feel like doing the hard work every day. You're not going to feel like getting up when other people don't want to get up to be above average because it's so easy to sit there and have the easy life and drink every day, smoke every day, have useless sex, watch porn, you know, just, just fuck your life off. It's so easy to do that. And because that path is so easy, people think the path to success is easy as well. And it's not. That's why I'm telling you to lock in now, bro. Because when you lock in right now, when the journey starts right now, the easier it actually gets. Because you have to accept the fact that this shit is not going to be easy at all. But when you get started and you start changing your mindset, this shit is going to be harder to stop than start. Because you're going to start seeing the improvement through the struggle, through the pain, through that hard work. You have to wake up and want this shit. Every day I may not feel like I want to get up and do this shit. But I know what I want. I know who I want to be and I know it's that feeling of going through the process that's going to build me to be the motherfucking man that I've always needed. Sit your fucking pride aside. Remove your fucking ego. Have enough ego to have some motivation and that's it. Cut it off after that. Learn from people. Study your mistakes. Take accountability. When you do these things, you're doing what most can't do. And if you do what most can't do, you will be at a level that most can't even fucking reach. Let's go, man. Let's go. And I want you to be fired up. I want this video to piss you, this video to piss you off. I want it to make you upset. Okay? Because you have to do what God requires you to do to get to where you want to be because you're not going to make it without his strength. You're not going anywhere without him. You're not going to see a better version of yourself without him. It's true when they say, as a man thinketh. Because as I'm thinking positive, I'm doing positive. I don't give a fuck if I feel like doing the positive action and the positive work. Because I know where I want to be and God is telling me this is what's possible in the back of my head. That's what I'm going for. If he says it's possible, nothing or nobody can stop it but me. Once you understand it's all on you, it's time to get to work. It's nobody else's fault. That's why I say it has to mean something to you, bro. It has to mean something to you. And guess what? Winners never quit. Quitters never win. We will never quit. We will never quit. We can't quit. It is too much on the line. There's too much shit you've been through for you to stop. 
and I love doing these videos. I love talking. I love speaking on camera because it's been so many times that people would talk about how, oh, you're just not gonna go this way. You're not gonna do this route. Oh, you're gonna play football. You're not gonna you're not gonna play now. You you want to make videos. You want to look look goofy online. And I loved every bit of it because they just didn't know. They just didn't know. That's what God was calling me to do, big dog. That's what they didn't know. But I'm here though. And I haven't quit. I haven't stopped. I haven't given up on myself because I know I'm worth it. And when God places the vision in your head, you make it happen. And it has to come out of you some way. It has to mean something to you in some way. Everything I've been through, I was meant to go through because I'm a fucking monster. And that's what I believe and that's what I receive, baby. And I want you to step up and do the same thing. Call it goofy, laugh at it, call it cringe, but guess what? You ain't stop shit, yeah, you ain't gonna stop shit because God is too good, big homie. Yes, yes, you have to want this shit. It has to hurt, it has to be pain, it has to be struggle. And if that's what God is calling you to go through in this moment, don't fucking give up. Because I see these people, they're weak as shit. They're willing to break at any moment. They're willing to give up on themselves at any moment, but not us. Not fucking us. I've been through too much shit to stay in the same position and I'm not going back. Fuck that. And I don't give a fuck how anyone feels about it. And you shouldn't either. Step up. Be the one. Be the motherfucker that can take this shit. You gotta get tired of being in the same position. It's okay, but you gotta get tired of being in the same position. You gotta get tired of people talking about you. You gotta get tired of people telling you it's not possible. You gotta get tired of being in a position where you just feel lonely. You gotta get tired of that shit and you gotta let it go because there's a new version of you knocking out the door, but you just ain't let that motherfucker in yet, man. And you gotta go do it. You gotta be the one. And you got this shit, bro. You got this shit. So that when I wake up early and that 3 a.m. alarm goes off and I'm like, oh, fuck, I don't know if I want to do this shit. Why do I do? No, 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 no. You get up, bitch. That's your fucking feelings. You get up. You get up and you go make it happen again and again and again. I don't care if you made money today. I don't give a fuck if you didn't make, if you've made 10 million today. Guess what, bitch? You do the fucking work because that's what you're called to do. And anything on the outside of your purpose is not meant for you. It will not work. It will not prosper. It will not happen. So let the motherfuckers go. Let the girl go. Let everything go and make it happen. And you will attract everything that you want. Guys, this is the last thing I'm gonna say. Recently, positive things have been happening to me because I wake up and I say, today's gonna be a good day. Right? Left my last relationship, got in a new one because I attracted that person. I don't know how long it's going to last, but what I do know is the fact that you're going to attract what you want, what you need, by simply thinking that it's possible and acting as if you already have it. It is going to happen. Keep going. Stress is sometimes needed. God is great. We never miss, and you know it's love, big dog.